In this presentation, we are going to revise the spotting of the brain. After the end of the presentation, I advise you to turn the sound off and try to identify the structures by yourself. First, we start with the ventral view of the brain stem. This is the medulla oblongata. This is the pyramid, the olive, the groove for the attachment of the hypoglossal nerve, the groove for the attachment of the glossopharyngeal, vagus, and cranial accessory, the pons, the groove for the basilar artery, the trigeminal nerve, this is the abducent nerve, the facial and vestibulocochlear nerves, the cerebral peduncle of the midbrain, the oculomotor nerve, the trochlear nerve, the interpeduncular fossa, the optic nerve, the optic chiasma, and the optic tract. This is the infundibulum of pituitary gland, the tuber cinerium, a mammillary body, and the anterior perforated substance. Now we will revise the arteries of the vertebrobasilar system and the circle of Willis. These are the vertebral arteries, the basilar artery, the posterior cerebral arteries, the internal carotid arteries, the posterior communicating arteries, the anterior cerebral arteries, and the middle cerebral arteries. Now we will revise a back view of the brain stem. The closed medulla oblongata, the gracile tract or gracile fasciculus, the gracile nucleus or gracile tubercle, the cunate tract or fasciculus, the cunate nucleus or tubercle. This is the open medulla, the inferior fovea, the hypoglossal trigon, the vagal trigon, the vestibular trigon, the medullary stria, the back of pons, the sulcus limitans, the medial eminence, the facial colliculus, and the middle cerebellar peduncle. This is the back of midbrain, the superior colliculus, the inferior colliculus, the superior cerebellar peduncle, and the superior medullary velum. This is the pineal body, and this is the thalamus. Now we will revise the superior lateral surface of the cerebral hemisphere. This is the frontal pole, the temporal pole, the occipital pole, the central sulcus, the precentral sulcus, the postcentral sulcus, the precentral gyrus, and the postcentral gyrus the superior frontal sulcus, the inferior frontal sulcus, the superior frontal gyrus, the middle frontal gyrus, the stem of lateral sulcus, the posterior ramus of lateral sulcus, the horizontal ramus, and the ascending ramus. The three parts of the inferior frontal gyrus are the part orbitalis, pars triangularis, and pars opercularis. This is the superior temporal sulcus, the inferior temporal sulcus, the superior temporal gyrus, middle temporal gyrus, and inferior temporal gyrus. This is the intraparietal sulcus, the superior parietal lobule, and the inferior parietal lobule, and the occipital lobe. Now we will revise the medial surface of the hemisphere. This is the corpus callosum. This is the rostrum, the genu, the body, and the splenium. This is the callosal sulcus and the cingulate sulcus. This is the cingulate gyrus, the medial frontal gyrus, and the paracentral lobule. And this is the beginning of the central sulcus. This is the parieto-occipital sulcus, 
the calcarine sulcus, the cuneus, the precuneus, and the lingual gyrus. This is the septum pellucidum, the fornix, the interventricular foramen of Monroe, the hypothalamic sulcus, the thalamus, the interthalamic adhesion, and the hypothalamus. This is the anterior commissure, the lamina terminalis, the optic chiasma, the tuber cinerium and infundibulum, and the mammillary body. This is the pineal body, the midbrain, the oculomotor nerve, the aqueduct of sylvius, the superior colliculus, and the inferior colliculus. This is the pons, the medulla oblongata, the vermis of cerebellum, the fourth ventricle, and the superior medullary velum. Now we will revise the inferior surface of the hemisphere. This is the orbital surface. This is the olfactory sulcus containing the olfactory bulb and the tract. This is the gyrus rectus, the H-shaped orbital sulcus, the anterior frontal gyrus, posterior frontal gyrus, medial frontal gyrus, and lateral frontal gyrus. This is the tentorial surface, the collateral sulcus, the parahippocampal gyrus, the rhinal sulcus, and the uncus. This is the occipitotemporal sulcus, medial occipitotemporal gyrus, and lateral occipitotemporal gyrus. Now we will revise the horizontal section of the hemisphere. This is the forceps minor, the forceps major, the anterior horn of lateral ventricle, the posterior horn of lateral ventricle, the head of caudate, the tail of caudate, the thalamus, the lentiform nucleus, and the internal capsule. This is the anterior limb of internal capsule, the genu, and the posterior limb. This is the insula, the clostrum, the extreme capsule, the external capsule, and this is the optic radiation in between the tapetum medially and the inferior longitudinal bundle laterally. We have reached the end of this revision. Thank you very much.